Hello and welcome to the Gadgets and Gizmo show on Headlines Today, I'm Siddharth Sharma. And over the next half an hour, we've lined up for you guys one power-packed show. So let's begin by telling you what's our lineup. This week, I drive a red car loaded with technology. We review a red point-and-shoot camera. And we also tell you how Chinese companies are all set to spoil the Indian smartphone market. All right, that's our lineup on the show. And first up, what we have for you is a red car that doubles up as a gadget. Let's have a look. This is the beast that Audi plans to unleash on the Indian roads soon, very soon. Now, Audi showcased this car at the Auto Expo 2014. This is the all-new A3 and Audi says it is the next big thing. It is fully loaded with a lot of technology in it. But before we tell you all about that, let's tell you how the car fares. Touted as the world car of the year, the A3 derives design lines from its elder siblings, the A4. Like all Audis, the single frame radiator grille is the primary element up front. The looks are sporty and compact. This car will come in India with two variants, the 35 TDI diesel and a 40 TFSI petrol engine. Now, Audi says that this is the next big thing, the all-new A3. And trust me, guys, diesel or petrol, this is a pocket rocket. The petrol engine is a 1.8-litre engine that churns out 180 horsepower and the diesel engine is a 2-litre, 143-horsepower monster. With these five-spoke, 17-inch alloy wheels, and by Xenon headlamps with daytime running lights, it promises to set the road on fire. Now the car is good, really good. But that's not about it. Audi's loaded it with some serious technology on it. And you also get something called a gesture control with the MMI panel of this one. Now we have all seen display panels and jog dials in premium luxury cars over the years and that is something which you will find in the A3 as well but with a pinch of some extra punch in it. The infotainment system on the Audi A3 offers a comprehensive range of modules like the bass churning Audi sound system, the MMI touch jog dial and now finally the MMI navigation plus and all of it boils down to this. The 7 inch display is ultra sleek and is just beautiful. And even as it electronically extends from the instrument panel, you might hear violence in the background. The Audi sound system, needless to say, is mind blowing with 20 GB jukebox to store all your music and additional 2 SD card slots to load more multimedia files. The navigation, well, works just like your Google Maps. And then there is this. The user terminal has this turn and push touch wheel that has a top surface which is touch sensitive. This acts as an input system for handwriting recognition and gesture for letters and numbers. An easier input method for surfing through the long menus that Audi has to offer on the system. And this is something that is unique for a compact luxury segment car. The A3 also comes with cruise control and Audi parking system plus with a rear camera. But really, do we want to see that now? Now the MMI system on the all new Audi A3 is brilliant. The display is very bright, clear to the driver and even the jog dial with 
touch sensitivity and gesture play works very good considering that you do all your gestures and handwriting inputs with the help of your left hand india is a right hand driving country anyways so hey you only have your left hand to do all the multimedia interface in your car anyway even the smartphone on this car syncs in very well but here's the big question what if you could park your car with the help of your smartphone well audi has been working on that front as well will it come to india or not only time will tell but for now it definitely looks promising audi driverless parking although engineers involved with the project says it's most likely a decade away from production but the prospect that it showcases is interesting Audi has a prototype smartphone app to call the car from the parking spot to the driver and the car starts by itself eases its way out of the garage turns a corner and parallel parks the car can also return to the spot and park normally between two cars automatic parallel parking is an optional feature on several cars including european specific audi models and the radar that audi help the car park are stock features But radar assistance is still far off in a country like ours where the radar use is not open to civilians. So all this will still take some time to come to India. Now Audi is going to soon launch the all new A3 in India and it is a power packed car both in terms of the engine and performance and of course when you talk about technology and multimedia interface that it has to offer. The only big question that lies is will Audi price this car just right and if they do they've got a sure shot winner with this one. Smartphones these days come loaded with a 16 megapixel camera on them. but that hasn't broken the morale of camera manufacturers in coming out with a 16 megapixel point and shoot camera canon recently came out with a all new sx600 hs and up next on the show we get you a review canon powershot sx600 hs is a compact and slim camera that still manages to squeeze in an 18x zoom At 2.4 by 4.1 by 1 inch, the SX600 is one of the smaller and lighter long zoom cameras out there. Canon offers the camera in white, black, and red, and regardless of color, the body has rounded edges and a modest but comfortable bump on the face plate that serves as a hand grip. The 18x lens covers a 25 by 450 mm f 3.8 by 6.9 field of view, which is a bit less ambitious, nonetheless manageable. The top plate houses a pop-up flash which has a mechanical release button. The camera though lacks a mode dial. Rear controls include buttons to access the menu, play images, record movies and connect to a device via Wi-Fi. Canon has put its creative shot mode that captures a series of images with different color filters and crops. The final image results include the original image and five filtered shots. There is also a 3-inch rear LCD that features a 460K dot resolution. It's perfectly adequate and has a very wide viewing angle, but it's not quite as sharp or as punchy in terms of color. You can post images and videos to websites, but you'll have to configure a few things first. The SX100 uses the Canon Image Gateway service to push images to Twitter, Flickr, Facebook and other social media platforms. The image results are really good for the sensor that it has to offer, but zoom in under low light conditions and you lose the sharpness. Video tops out at 1080p quality in MP4 format. The footage is detailed and even at 30 frames per second, it's smooth and the camera is quick to adjust focus as the scenes change. Overall it's just an average point and shoot camera price at 15999 but you can give this one a miss as there's nothing remarkable about it. Jioni and Oppo Mobiles. These Chinese smartphone manufacturers have made their own space in the Indian market. And now another one is on its way to India. And next up on the show we tell you all about that.
This is the smartphone that Xiaomi has launched in India. It's called the Xiaomi Mi3. Available only online at a price tag of Rs 13,999 rupees, this smartphone packs in a lot of features. Up front, it has a 5-inch Full HD 1080p IPS display, enabling super crisp details and incredible viewing angles. MI3 is powered by a 2.3 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 AB processor. The primary camera is a 13 megapixel one with dual LED flash and industry leading HDR functionality for amazing photos. Xiaomi MI3 supports high speed HSPA Plus 3G connectivity up to 42 Mbps. And to top it all, it has a 3050 mAh internal battery. With all this packed in, this makes it a lucrative smartphone with just a slight hitch. It's Chinese. And with that, it's time for us to take a very small break on this episode. But you guys don't go anywhere because there's a lot more technology action coming your way on the other side. Brought to you by Ansar University, spanning decades in education.